Hi everyone and welcome to Makeup for 40 Plus. I've had a few requests for a foundation, my foundation routine and honestly I change it up so much. I hope I haven't got everything. I just realised I haven't got the most important thing. I haven't got foundation. Ducking as per usual. Can't believe that. My foundation routine and I forget to get my foundation. So at least you know it's one of my videos because there you go. Anyway, let's get on with it. So my daily foundation routine changes, um, but basically my work foundation routine stays pretty much the same. So I always use a primer at the moment. I'm really loving the um, BH Cosmetics um, foundation primer. It just seems to work really well with the... Um, Color Stay, Revlon Color Stay foundation that I wear and I tend to wear my Revlon Color Stay so I just use basically a pea or pearl size amount of the um, the primer and put that all over my face so just to give me a really nice base and make sure that that's basically just all over and down my neck then I go in with my Real Techniques foundation brush. I can find my um, powder brush because I've already got my foundation brush out. So I always use my um, buffing brush by Real Techniques. As you can see this is a week's worth of dirt. And my I use the Revlon Color Stay. Mine is in 330. So basically I always give that, which I haven't done, give that bottle a really good shake. And I just put a small amount on my brush don't need much again probably less than a pearl pea sized amount and I just dab that all over my face and I basically just stipple to start with so I make sure that I've got a fairly good cover and then I just start buffing it in to make sure that I cover and minimize my pores. I have done this um, routine before I believe but being that I've had so many requests for it I thought I would do it again. So I'll just come up close so you can see so far I haven't sort of buffed in round where I get a lot of pores so I'll just change my mirror over so I can see because I have my magnified mirror and I'll just turn the camera a little, I hope that's better. And I just basically buff that foundation all over my face. As you know, Revlon Color Stay is buildable, but for my work routine and just day-to-day -day routine, I don't tend to do a real heavy cover. If I'm going out at night, I do. A heavier coverage than that so that is pretty much that then at the moment I'd swap between there's three concealers that I really like to use one is the um, Maybelline Age Rewind in the brightening one the other one is the L uh, LA Girl Pro concealer and this one is in natural so I use that one the other thing that I've started to use that I found <laughs> is a stealer. Um, this is the Perfecting Concealer. So I've actually been using this for about the last week or so. Um, I'll just have a look and see if there's a colour on this one. But no glasses, so good luck. Shade C04 it is. So that's the colour that I've been using. So I just take a teeny tiny amount on my ring finger, dab it on both of my fingers and just basically go up on the inside of my nose and pat it all around so I get a nice coverage and I'm not disturbing the foundation that I've put down but just to brighten up that center part of my eye sometimes I do use um, this brush here from um, BH Cosmetics and no I'm not sponsored by BH Cosmetics I just I'm not sponsored by anybody all my products I buy myself so I just use that to get a really good blend 
so that that blends away into the skin. As you can see, I've still got bags. I had my injection on the weekend, on Thursday night, so I'm a bit, always puts me off for a couple of days. Then, at the moment, I'm really loving my um, Skin Clone um, Soft Focus Foundation as a powder from Miraness. It just has a bit of an iridescent glow. Now, this comes with, if I can pop the top off, it comes with a like a sponge on the top but I actually don't use that I actually just use whatever's in the cap so if there's not a lot in the cap I just tap the teeniest amount in because this stuff goes a little bit goes a really long way so that's probably too much so I just swirl my um, my Real Techniques multitask brush in it and I just basically just bounce that powder all over really lightly over my face and then I buff it in because it's a foundation and it's got a bit of a glow to it which I like it doesn't give it doesn't give a um, a sheen to your face like doesn't make you look greasy it just gives you sort of a really healthy glowing looking skin so I quite like that healthy glow and my cats are playing with the screen wouldn't you know it diesel cut it out and now the cat the dogs are barking because the cats are teasing them so I give that a really good buff just to make sure that I've got a really even coverage of that all over my face. And as you can see, there's still quite a lot in the cap. So as I say, a little bit of this goes a really long way. I've had this bottle for well over 12 months and you can see it's only sort of used up to there. So basically, that is as simple as my foundation routine gets. It's really easy really quick doesn't take me long to do it all um, before I get ready for work the other two things that I use fairly consistently is a a, um, a bronzer and a blush and a highlighter so I've got in one of my hauls I got the Too Faced with this beautiful this is um, Happy New Year to you so we might try this because I haven't actually used it today so uh, I haven't actually used it yet so we'll use it today so I'll go on with the bronzer I'm just using now this is going to be interesting because when I, I should have showed you when I picked up on the brush I actually dabbed it into the foundation into the blusher and the highlighter as well so it's a little hard to get in there and I'm just using my Ilan Masca blush brush which I really love just pinched and then I unpinch it to blend my contour just to try and give me a bit of a cheek. Diesel, you're being difficult. Quiet as anything they were until I came in here to do this. Then using a Coastal Sense um, powder brush, I'm just going to go in with this pretty pink blush. And as I say, I haven't tried this yet. This is the first time, so a bit of a review quite like that I do like sets like this that you can have multiple products in them for traveling and such or to throw in your handbag if you're doing a day to night you know if you've got to go somewhere after work or something like that and then finally with all the dogs barking madly I'm just going to use this shimmer color that's in here and I'll put a bit of that in my on my cupid's bow so that's got that beautiful shimmer that we know we can get from the Too Faced products and just a bit of shimmer across the tops of my cheeks and you do have to be careful putting this brush in because there's not a lot of room for error you pick up it would be the only thing I would say about this little palette as handy as it is you've got to be a bit careful where you put your brush because it can um, it you can put the brush in one of the other products so yeah 
just be a bit wary of that and then I'll just throw on a bit of this obviously I haven't done my eyes but I'm going to do um, a tutorial with one of the things that I got in my haul so um, I did show this one in my haul this is the Glam Gloss by Too Faced and I believe it is Sex Pot <laughs> I can't read it but I think that's what it is so we'll try this this is a bit sticky it smells um, sweet can't quite put my finger on what it smells like but it's definitely a sticky gloss if you like don't like sticky glosses then stay away from this one because it's definitely a sticky gloss so put a bit of that on just to give me a bit of color and as I say I haven't done my eyes so please excuse excuse me but that is my everyday foundation routine um, with everything except my eye, eyes done so I hope that gives you an idea of what I do every day pretty simple pretty quick much faster of course if I'm not talking while I'm doing it so and this is the Too Faced um, New Year New You with the bronzer the blusher and the um, highlighter so just to give you an idea of what that's like so I hope you're all doing really really well please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section if you've got any questions let me know and I will talk to you all soon thanks for watching bye